Innocent Kagadora should not be here. The 23-year-old holds a political science degree from Zimbabwe's top university. Yet because of Zimbabwe's soaring unemployment, which many blame on former President Robert Mugabe, here he is. Since graduating in 2015, he spends his time on this corner, selling phones 14 hours a day. His colleagues call him Comrade Graduate. He said he takes home $10 a day. Not enough, he says, to help his father. It hurts him a lot to say, my son has a degree, my son is educated enough in Zimbabwe, but he can't even afford you know, to send me groceries at the end of the month. So help me go. New President Emerson Managagua says he will improve the economy, and students plan to hold him to that promise. On the first day of his presidency, student leaders met in Harare to mobilize the youth vote for elections scheduled next year. It will basically be calling him to account in terms of the things that he has promised. So every citizen, every young people are ways to see these things getting into reality. At their alma mater, students say they're hopeful, but say they want leaders to change their mentality and focus on the future, not the glories of the past. You listen to them, most of their speeches, they're still talking about the liberation struggle. I, I, I appreciate what they did, yes, but we, I think it's time for us to move away from that now. The ideas back then, they're, they're not fit for the world that we're in right now. We're hoping that with the new change in government and all that, things are going to get better. And they worry about the youth coming behind them, like 16-year-old advocate Kambeu, who really shouldn't be here, on a Harare street corner selling $11 shoes on a school day. If he could afford school fees, he says, he could do big things. I want to do politics. I think I'm talented in politics. Managagua has laid out an ambitious program of economic reform. And millions of energetic, talented young Zimbabweans, like Innocent, Ostalos, Miasha, Nadine, and Advocate, are counting on him. Anita Palvio, News, Harare.